This might be the first get down Mr. President moment I've ever seen on TOTK. Get down Mr. President! Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Anybody else kind of feel like this should work? If there's one thing Embarrassed Bat hates, it's sludge on his patio area. The homing cart keeps the build targeted on the boss while the rotating hydrants continually spray water. That both clears the sludge and hurts Mugtarok. This Hynux was having a bad hair day, so CFSG decided to make him a hat. I hope he likes it. I don't think he liked it. M. Jenna was exploring, however you say, this shrine, when they discovered a funny little patch of invisible ceiling water. Unplayable, no longer game of the year, absolute disgrace. <laughs> Time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. The Geneva Convention prohibits under any circumstance the use, development, production or acquisition of cluster munitions. Ah, screw it. The bomb flowers are attached to a battery. The shield swap causes the fuse entangled battery to be destroyed. That releases the cluster munitions. A few days back, Cade Buggy posted a concept vehicle that made use of cambered wheels. Movement God saw that build and has built this fun little early game build that only uses four parts. For a little four part build, it's surprisingly sturdy and can climb hills pretty well. A fan can be added to the back to help with climbing and water, but it will impact your battery life. The two small wheels on the base build gently sip away at battery, making it great for the early game. And here's a quick peek at the maneuverability. And finally, one of the ultimate sturdiness tests. What a great little build. Now for today's war crime of the day.
With no DLC coming to TOTK, we can therefore assume that Guardians will never be added. Officially, anyway. Susie is on a quest to bring the Stalker to life in TOTK. The base of the Stalker is using the new Zora's Domain elevator piece. And of course, it wouldn't be a modern turret build without pulsing weapons. Cue the bees. Jumping off the Guardian lets you play around it like a sentry turret. You've just got to watch out for those cannons. Dip Slip finally max their battery, but there's one thing you can't upgrade easily. Your situational awareness. Mediocre Fallacy has never been caught more off guard. For one, they didn't even know you could ride the deer. I am obsessed with 42's videos, and today they're covering the Sand Slay. It has eight minutes, yes, eight minutes of Sand Seal and Sand Slay shenanigans. That was hard to say. I'll leave the link to the video in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.